with your New Year's resolutions. Thank you. And let's see some of the fans have New Year's resolutions, okay, and they okay, want to okay. tell us what they, what their New Year's resolutions are, okay? Hey, Andres. What up, Rudy? Next year's resolution, I'm going to stop pulling off to the side of the road to masturbate after work. I think people are catching on. Uh, all my spots have been blown up, and it's not a good idea, really. So... Uh. Okay. <laughs> well, my main can I tell you my main problem? We with got that? great fans. Can I make my I don't. <laughs> my main problem with that? Yeah. Is um. It looks like this tooth of his pulled off to the side of his mouth yeah. to uh, get some yeah. escapism. Also, it's like well, um. Hey, Rudy. what's your main problem? Hey, Rudy. Hey, Rudy and hey, Andres. Andres. Yeah, he didn't say what's up to us. Yeah, so that's my main problem. The second thing is, is they that are the stars of the show. To be honest, also, um, you d you never pull off the side of the road. You drive and do Just it. Just keep doing it. That's the talent. Right, right. Get some talent. Dude. That way, you know, I mean, no one can blow up your spot. Right. That's why he's like, all these you're spots are blown up. Yeah, you're, you're just in moving. Mo motion. Yeah, you're moving. <laughs> that's the ghost. <laughs> Let's see another one. Hi, bad friends. Oh my God, push pause. <laughs> Okay, what? I just, when I see an Asian that looks like that, I need a second. All right, take a breath. <sighs> they still make them that way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Old school. Yeah, old school. Here we go. There we go. Go ahead. And Ticonderona number two. Hi, bad friends. My New Year's resolution is to stop talking shit about New Year's resolutions because people are working hard to change themselves. And here I am going, ew. New Year's, you me. Uh, uh. In yeah, fact, yeah. I fucking turn off my lights, close the door, and make one of my own. This year's New Year's resolutions is to be a fucking good human being, stop being so selfish, and, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, meet Bobby Lee. Yes, these Have are my kids. 2021. Oh, yeah, <laughs> these are the ones. You know, I... I used to have a guy how, that looked just like him. How Asian is this guy? No, but I used, I used to hang this out. This guy is Asia. I had an Asian Ladies guy Ladies like and gentlemen, it's Asia. Named Young Ko. Young Ko. Yeah, he looked exactly like this, right? This guy's great. I go, Young, go to Wiener's and get me a, a, a hot dog, right? All right, be back, right? <laughs> Come back with a fucking hot dog. <laughs> I love dudes like this. Yeah, this guy's great. Yeah, well, yeah. let's meet him. That's his resolution. I wanna, I'm going to meet him. All right, here we go. Yeah. What's up, guys? Big What's fans. Up? Big fans. <laughs> What's up, guys? Andrew, Rudy, even even George. I love you guys. Australia. Oh, Australia. Um, you oh, guys like my literally bad. make my Mondays. You make my weeks. Um, so, yeah, my New Year's resolution this year is to just be a lot more disciplined. I think with the changing of the times, a lot of us are working remotely and, uh, you know, it's bad habits have formed. And now it's just to try and get rid of those bad habits and adopt new ones, like not sleep in until Bobby Lee hours. Um, I like that. You know, um, but to actually rise up early and uh, have determination and perseverance to do the work at home. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, like I felt myself slipping and uh, this year I want to just make it a staple. Yeah. Love you guys. Love you. Love you. Big kisses. I actually think he's South African. Yeah, maybe. I think it's South African. South African, yeah. I think it's South African. Do you have anything to say about him, though? I think his his shit was genuine. Yeah, he really you wanted he to. Do you think he was cute? Didn't pay attention. <laughs> Yo, are you, you're on a show right now. You. No, I was. Ungrateful. I was listening. Did you see him? Yeah. Did you think he was cute? Be honest. He's okay. He's okay. Okay. Hi, Bobby and Andrew and the Bat Friends family. I think what I want for my New Year's resolution is to find to find love. You know. Find that special someone who can just make me happy. Aww. I am on the fucking phone. <laughs> Do you I body mind you and that was good. That was really that good. That was really good. That guy was good. Yeah, it was really, like that was him. a good bit. That's a good bit. That was a really good hey, bit. Hey, bad friends. I hope whatever you're arguing about gets resolved by the end of the episode. <laughs> this is my <laughs> bad friends New Year's challenge. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Um, Next That's year, really... I would like to, when I get my boogers picked by myself, um, to not get caught. <laughs> this guy's, um, I love this guy. It's not been a huge problem in my life, but I've been caught um, maybe a couple times a year. <laughs> and um, 
when I eat them um, mm. and uh, someone sees, that's not good. It's oh, not yeah, good. and I also eat them too, so. Thank you. If, <clears throat> if we could, I don't want people to see. I'm on a diet, so I don't take that into account for calories or, um, I, you know, I'm a good guy and everything. Okay. Anyways, well, people have to say um, that. Why weird. do they have to say oh, that? Yeah, George, yeah. Um, I think he's pretty nice. Yeah, all right. You don't know. You first don't of all, you anything. don't know him. Yeah. If you knew George, you knew you he isn't know. a nice yeah, guy. Yeah. How about this guy? Balsamic, Caesar, blue cheese. What up, Bobby? What up, uh, Andrew? Mm-hmm. My New Year's resolution is to impregnate that bitch right there. Holla <laughs> 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 at a pregnant bitch. <laughs> Love that guy. Love that guy. Love that guy. You can be part of the family. Hey, man, straight up, I hope you get her pregnant, bro. Don't you, pull out. You know, you know out. with some of these, like, Don't let's, pull let's do out. a vote, right? If they're invited into our family or not. That guy's invited in the fam. He's invited in the family. 100%. Sure. Okay. All right. Hey, Bobby and Andrew. My New Year's resolution is I want to start absorbing things more. Because the thing is, is that... That's what you did. I always hear you, but I didn't always listen to you. That's interesting. I think he's part of the family, and we have to keep him around in case he hurts somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want. He said, "Is is that?" And 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 he, yeah. he had some good uh, show calls. Yeah. But I also think he's creepily in his car. He's either. In, in, you know what's scary though? Uh, right. Everything he, about he it. He looks like he's in the passenger seat. Yeah, he is. And no one's in the driver's seat. <laughs> <laughs> right. So he's just sitting in the passenger seat of a car of a car and just taping shit. Oh yeah. It's fucking scary. He's in the family. He's in the family. We gotta save him. Hey guys, um, my new resolution is actually to um, start buying more trading cards. Because as you might know, mm-hmm. trading cards are pretty much just gambling for children. And I want to start getting that addictive personality going. So that once I'm an adult, uh, instead of just gambling, you know, maybe I'll get into a little bit of drugs, maybe a little alcohol. Like an adult does. Respect. And, uh, you know, I mean, I'll never... Never catch up to Bobby. You know he was very ahead of the game in terms of drug abuse at, at a young age. But That's you true. Know, I mean, I can get close. I can it's get not close. Not so. <laughs> Yeah. No. That's my uh, that's my New Year's resolution. Child gambling. No, that's not. Happy New Year's, you guys. Look, I'm not going to support not, kids not. gambling and doing drugs, but this kid. Yeah. I'm down. I no, think no, it's cool. No, no, no. I, I think, think it's I just, cool. He's, you know, it's scary. He's young. We're supposed to do the right thing here. Yeah, the right thing is. I don't wanna. Hey, dude. You go do drugs and gamble and do whatever you want to do. Life is That's short. Not... If 2020 taught us anything, it's that life is too short. No, no. He's in the family. That's he's my not, nephew. He's not. Yep. Stop. Hey, Bobby. Stop, stop, hey, stop, 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 stop. Hey, Ruth. Stop. All right. Just move on. I'm going to say it. <laughs> just fucking move on. I'm going to say it. <laughs> just, just move on. I'm going to say it. Go ahead. I, I for sure thought that was a woman. <laughs> and maybe I'm dumb. No. Maybe I'm stupid. No. And I'm stupid. And people at home should know I'm not smart. I've never no. claimed to be smart. But, no, I, I, but honestly, when I saw this person, when I opened the video, well, yeah. I thought it was going to be, hey, guys. No. What I saw thought? What? CGI. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not being kidding. I swear to God. I go, wow, the animation is getting fucking good. Avatar is unreal. Unable, yeah. Unreal. He looks like, yeah. You know what he looks like? <laughs> Wait. A human flesh colored. These are our those fans. Avatar, I know. These are our fans. From those, those, those creatures from Pandora. <laughs> These are our fans. He's great. He's great. Hey, we love you. Can we hear what he has to say? I already rewind it, though, but I can't look at the screen. I'll laugh. All right. right. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Andrew. Hey, Rudy. Hey, Andres. Hey, Pink Dick. My New Year's resolution (laughs) is to suck more dick. I'm pretty good at it now, but I'd like to be spectacular. Anyways, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you guys for being bad friends. I gotta go to that planet Pandora. For, first of all, <laughs> this guy's the shit. He is the shit. He says he wants to be an expert at S and the Diz. Yeah, yeah. Love this dude. Love this guy. Love this dude. Oh, God. Not just in the family, gonna get a seat at the table. How about that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not just in the family. Let's play this one more time. This guy gets a seat at the table. He calls out everybody. Listen. Yeah. Hey, Bobby. Hi. Hey, Andrew. Thank you. Hey, Rudy. Hey, Rude. Yeah. Hey, Andres. Hi. Hey, Hi. Pink Dick. Pink Dick. My New Year's resolution is to suck more dick. Dope. I'm pretty good at it now, but I'd like to be spectacular. Yeah. I bet you would. Anyways, 
Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Okay. Thank you guys for being bad friends. Shout out to this fucking mega babe with really good skin that yeah. wants to suck better uh, honestly, D. Honestly, though, I would Love let this him. Dude. I would let him. 100%. Yeah, yeah, I would mega let babe. Him. Great hair. Great hair. Great skin. Right. Sorry, we're, if we were a little mean at first. We're just having fun. We're having fun. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. let me tell you. Yeah, I like your look. In the family, at the table. You're at the table. That's high up. All right, let's see who else wait, is Wait, wait, before you wait, before you air more, right? Is this it not is... good for me to make fun of them? Dude, it's all love. This is all love. Okay, all right, because I love them. Like, yes, my own family, these are our but fans. Li- we love them. Am I being too mean? No. Okay, Rudy. No, Rudy's the gauge. She'll tell us. Yeah, she's not right. even here. Her no, bar- sleep, I know, barely. Asleep. Barely. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. My New Year's resolution is to... MS-13 dies. <laughs> <laughs> We have MS-13 fans. Uh, dope, because they can protect <laughs> yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off so much, and probably look at the camera a little bit more, and uh, hopefully get a job when COVID's all done, and maybe accidentally run into Andrew or Bobby somewhere on the street in LA, and also maybe get on to bad friends. Oh, and <clears throat> possibly cut my hair. Well, you made it on to Bad yeah. Friends, my friend. Let me tell you, you He's made cute. it on to Bad Friends. I like him. I like him a lot. Yeah. He made it on. He said he wanted to be on. He made it on. Unless, of course, we cut that bit. <laughs> no, we're not going to cut it. We got to leave it in. We got to leave it in. But it would be yeah. funny if we cut it. <laughs> yeah. What do we do with this? Right when he starts talking, we cut it down. <laughs> okay? No, he's the shit. Oh, he's the shit. He's the shit. You're on Bad Friends. Um, all right, let's see. Couple, some more fans coming at you. Uh-huh. What's up, bad friends? Cheeto Santino, slut brother. My New Year's <laughs> resolution is to stop fucking my cousins. Yeah, yeah. It's always good to get a shout out from Theo Vaughn. Yeah. It's really nice or, that he did or, our yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, Or not. Nah. If, if the cousin's hot. Yeah, it depends yeah, on how it, distant the cousin yeah, yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many times removed? Yeah. Well, I guess he said cousin stuff, so he's in the family. Yeah. Gotta let him in. Hey, it's Gianna from Texas. My New Year's resolution is to get rid of my orangutan tits. <laughs> In what? the family. In the family. At the table. I don't know what an orangutan tit is. Uh, droopy goopies, I guess. Oh, you have dro- droopy tits? I got uh, What's orangutan about them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Orange orangutans. Are, so maybe she has but orange they're just poop. hairy. Hairy and long and yeah. hang down. Let's hear that one more time. Yeah, I yeah, love I her. Like She's the awesome. The rhythm was good. Hey, it's Gianna from Texas. My New Year's resolution is to get rid of my orangutan tits. <laughs> <laughs> we well, love I her. I like it, like it. She's the best. Yeah. What's up, bad friends? What's up, Andrew, Bobby, Jules, Andrades, George? <laughs> my name's George, too. Happy fucking New Year's. My fucking New Year's resolution is to fucking not be fat anymore. I fucking... I'm down 40 pounds this year. Congrats. That's a long way to go, but you know what? Yeah. I love you guys. Oh, my God. Love you, too. Good luck on the weight loss, Papa. Keep it moving. He could have died just doing that video. Yeah. (laughs) Taking the shirt off. His heart just imploded. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Honestly? Yeah. Keep him, he's in the family. Keep him in the family. Yeah. My resolution is to get that dumpling. You know what I'm talking about, Robert. That's right. That guy wants you to wanna sleep with you. My, yeah. He wants, he wants to suck on my sacks. Yeah, he loves your dump. Yeah. My sacks are like dumplings. Thank you. Hey, Rocket. Rocket? Hey, Bobby. Hey, uh, Jules. Also, Andres and George. Not really, hey, George. Um, my resolution <laughs> is to yeah. stop smoking. I've been doing that for too long. Gotta quit. I don't feel good about it anymore. So, happy New Year's, guys. Merry Christmas. Handsome guy. Handsome guy. We love yeah, you, brother. Love we, you you got to quit smoking. Bobby quit smoking, didn't you, Bob? Yeah. Who's next? My New Year's resolution for this year was to lose weight and get my health back on track. Starting in September of last year, over the last year and about three, four months or so, I have lost 203 pounds, oh, which wow. brings me down from 530 plus pounds ish. I don't really know where I was, down to uh, 326 pounds currently. And so my goal for next year is to finally hit my actual goal weight, which is to drop down to about 250 to 260 pounds. I'm six foot seven. I have gigantism, uh, or acromegaly as it's actually called. Um, and so I just want to get my health right and, you know, be comfortable in my body for, you know, the first time in my life. So 
Love you guys. Uncle Tito! Andrew! <laughs> we love this guy. By the I way, I want to meet him. George, find out about this guy. I've never met anyone with gigantism. gigantism. Me neither. I want to meet this guy. Yeah, George, yeah. find out about this guy, please. Yeah. That's incredible. I want to I want to know more it's about incredible. him. It's incredible. And he, he, he it looks like he's driving a Honda Civic. He's dri that's actually a truck. It is? That's like a that's like a uh, an 18 wheeler. Oh, it is. Okay. It looks like a coupe to him. He's 67. 67 and he lost 200 pounds? Wow. Dude, but I, like, if you're you have gigantism, you're 530 pounds. So isn't that like not pretty, that big of a deal? Six seven is not that tall. It's not. It's like it's like LeBron. Right. Okay. But how 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 much does LeBron weigh? Two fifty, maybe two sixty. Okay, but it's still like if I weighed 530, it would look differently. <laughs> I I would honestly, I would pay my whole bank account to see you weigh 500 pounds. <laughs> It would make me so happy. Would you try to help me? I would do everything in my power. Yeah. If you got that big, I would, I, dude. It'd be a dream come true to watch you get that fat. <laughs> I, know, I know, but I could die. That's that's that's, not, that's me. No, no. I'd make sure that's you were so fine. Mean. No, I'd make sure you were fine. Right. But what would I look like at five hundred pounds? Not that bad. At five hundred pounds. Yeah. You weigh how much right now? One seventy-five. Okay. Three and a half times what you weigh right now. Yeah. What would you think you'd look like? Ralphie May. More. Really? More. Because he was taller. It'd be like Ralphie and Lavelle Crawford together. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you would love to see that. 100%. Oh, yeah. I'd pay so much money to watch you get fat. Yeah. Hi, Bobby. Love you. Um, hey, Cheeto Santino. Love you, too. Uh, my new... <laughs> keep, it, keep it going. My new year's resolution keep is to do stand-up comedy. Did you hear... He tried to stand... He wants stand-up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you hear him fart though? Listen. Hi, Bobby. Love you. Um, hey, Cheeto Santino. Love you too. Uh, my new year's resolution is to do stand up comedy. In the family. One of, what, what, the head. We the head of the family. <laughs> I want us. I want. He's our new leader. Hello, bad friends. My name is Lance Cordell. I'm sending this video all the way from Manitoba, Canada. Love it. Love Canada. Just wanted to say hello to Bobby, Andrew. Hey. Mrs. Juliana. There it is. Fancy B. Yes. Pink Dick George. You Anyone got else it. who's involved with bad friends. My New Year's resolution for this year is uh, something that's been weighing heavily on me for a very long time. I need to get in touch with somebody. He is this little, he was a little Asian kid that used to live Keep going. close by me. And <laughs> what we used to do was um, really not right. We need to say, I, I want to say I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I never meant to lure you with fun dip and brutally molest you for an entire summer. I knew it was good. Okay. Um, I just want to say, if you're watching out there, little Asian kid, I'm sorry, and happy New Year. It's so fucked up. It's so fucked up. It's he's so fucked he's up. talking about you. Yeah. Because that's real. Yeah. All right. And if the guy that molested me looked like him, I would have molested him back. He was hot. Yeah. The hot burly guy. Yeah, I just be message. And this is not comedy. You know what I mean? This is a heartfelt message that you can give to our fans. To the Bad Friends family. Right? So, please, the floor is yours. Look into your... A public look. service announcement from Rudy. Into your camera. Hello, everyone. Whew, not a good opening. Yeah. You, you gotta have something stronger than yeah, hello, everyone. Like what? From your heart. Maybe go European, like different language. That's right. European? Yeah. Why don't you say it in Filipino? Uh, in in uh, in uh, what's your language? What's the language? Talaga. Tut tut. Tut tut. Pat pat. Pisaya. 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 Go in and say in Pisaya. Let's hear it. Hello, Ate Kuya. Si Rudy or si Jules ni ganahan ako mo ingon nga. Um. I'm... Sounds like a drunk Hawaiian. Yeah. Na na kama na na Hawaii. Let me finish. Tiny bubbles. <laughs> Tiny, Tiny bubbles, bubbles in the white. Go ahead. 
Maganaan ako mayingon nga. Thankful ko. And di ko ganaan ni Tito Bobby. Coconut. Tito, I heard coconut. Yeah, they love coconut. Huh? Mga samukan kay sila. Huh? And, yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye-bye. There, is there no bye-bye in Philippines? And in, What's goodbye? What's goodbye? There is a word, but I just say goodbye. I forgot. Do you people, do adults say bye-bye to each other? In the bye. Philippine language, like in that language, right? Do you guys use American words because you just didn't create like ho- like ho- like what words? Hospital is that? No. Nah, emergency um, room. Do you just say emergency room or you? Yeah. Say, you'll just say emergency room. They don't have a word for emergency. I think there is, but it's like a deeper um, meaning. It's a deep cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to really be a fan of the language. What are some American words that everyone has to use because um, you didn't make one? Because you guys are. <laughs> there is. It's just a harder word. A harder word to say. Yeah. It's your. Fr- it's your yeah. language. That yeah. doesn't make sense. Yeah, but in school they taught us English. So. Yeah, like like my dad, right? Growing up, he would go. Uh, you go turn off aircon. Aircon. Yeah. yeah. Air conditioner. Right. Aircon. Orangey. What's orangey? Orange juice. <laughs> oh the, oh oh. Yeah, is so, that what an orange is? I don't know. Orangey. You, you go orangey. I'll give him orange juice. I like that a lot. I gotta why, tell you, why, why? I, I, I wish we said that. <laughs> yeah. So there's just certain words that he would like, you know. He would just shorten up and throw in there. Like, look, here's something that we we can address on the show. Mm. Uh, we had Kalila fill in for you. Mm, I want to talk about this. Everybody, uh, everybody who watched it that had something negative to say um, didn't understand that fucking vibe because I think what you can communicate it better, but. The idea that people have are throwing stones at Kalila is wild because also they'd be like, where to go, Santino? <laughs> like, I, like I had anything to do with it. Listen, I was in a jam. I was out of town and, and this production that I was working on, they needed me for extra days. I couldn't get back in town in, uh, in time. And she filled in for me last minute. She did a great job. And she did a great job. And number one, number two, I want people to know that she's always going to be a part of my life. And I love her like she's family. Same. She is family to you. Same. She, I love she, her. I love her so fucking much. Careful, bitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bitch. Health up, right. <laughs> <laughs> she's she is the only person that I can rely on one hundred percent. She, um, we're still like children. Like we, when we see each other, it's just like there's a connection and same. A family, a family kind of vibe. No, the jokes are not going to work right now. <laughs> You know, it, you know, it did make me laugh. I'm not it was very funny. Okay. Very funny. <laughs> yeah, it would just be too. But what my point? I want what so and when people attack her online, right? Um, listen, I feel great about a relationship. Right? I it don't was feel, a good run. It was a great run. I don't feel resentment. I feel like it. It only helped me on different levels. You know, yeah. emotionally. Um, my place in the world, you know, what I want. I mean, she brought a lot of great things out of me. And I, um, and whenever I see people say negative things online about her, it really breaks my heart. It's like you're attacking me in a weird way. Well, here's what's interesting. Two yeah. things. One, I think people forget that. Like, we're all, this is like a family. We're like a family together. Yeah. yeah. And obviously when we're fucking around and joking around with storyline on the show, that's half of the fun of the show. And the other thing is, I think what's fucked about people that view a relationship in one little viewpoint it's like when somebody retires from playing an a-, a professional athlete and all they're thinking about is the one game that they played poorly is, is mm. and, and, as if that's going to encompass their entire career. There was ups and downs. There was great things and bad things and trades and blah, blah. And to me, it's like, that's what that relationship was to you. There was a lot of ups. There was downs. There was learning curves. There was changes as p- people and you grew. And then when it was over, it was still a good thing. It helped both of you in different ways. And that's the the mature thing that I will give you got you a lot of credit for, is that you ju- you you took what you got from it on a positive note, and the negative stuff you let go away because now you're both fucking moving forward in life. Yeah, I think just like, that's how the fucking mature way to look at all that stuff, which you did very well. I also want to. I like what you said about like the family aspect of it. It's yeah, like, man, these is our. We're all. Well, fucking... I'm like I'm. You know, I've heard a couple of people go, "Why are you opening for Tom Segura this week?" I know you called me and you said that. But you were yeah, people were like saying that, and I'm like, yeah, but it's like I don't look at it that way. It's like he's family. Yeah, I'm gonna have fun with him at you know at his show. 
And that's how I see it. It's like we, you know, when we see each other, you know, on the road or at the clubs or when we call each other, there really is a camaraderie and a connection. And um, we'll, I think that's why the East Coast and West Coast scene is different in the sense that we never had this kind of connection. Now everyone, ag- we're growing all together. We bring this little one in, you know, because we want to help her because we see that she's the next generation. I mean, this is how it all works. Yeah. And yeah. She, and, so, and, and, and what an incredible show. For what? the audience, you and Tom Segura. Yeah, it's amazing. That's it's an, insane. It's, a, it's an insane show. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think that's what people need to remember and keep in mind. As much fun as we want to have on the show, and we always do. Yeah, and people keep pitting me and Rudy against each other, and I just mm-hmm. want to say that she is my family now too. Yeah, and I, yeah. I love that girl. And it's not a war. This is yeah. all for fun. And by the way, when we play into the war, that's even the funny, the funnier thing is that's the whole point of it. That being said, Carlos is still. <laughs> well, yeah. On our shit list. Yeah, yeah. But that that's just the way that that's the way it's gonna be. I was proven not guilty though. That's true. In yeah, court. no, I was there. I was at the, I was on the trial. My my uh my brother was the judge. But I do have to say that I do love you, man. Thank and you. um I really do. Mm-hmm. There's something about you that like I just trust. Cool. And um you know, I love you know, I went to the Philippines with Andreas. <laughs> oh my god. And I you know, there's just a working relationship and a you know, and I wanna get to know you better. But I feel like we grew up a little bit closer. No? Yeah. What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> what? I'm trying to fucking... What is fucking wrong with you? I'm trying to bond with you and you're like... With your moist Spanish lips and you're like googly-eyed. What? Uh, right? Yeah. Just fucking take it in, man. I'm trying. I think people can't understand an amicable breakup. I know in my life mm. I've seen so many people, break, like even parents dating people, break yeah. it, and then you just never talk to each other again. Yeah. So I think a lot of that outrage is like from their personal experience. So you guys, I think, are setting a really cool example of how two people can break up but still move on and be friends and yeah. be cool. Yeah, people, I know dudes are like, well, we don't fuck anymore, so I'm not seeing yeah. it. It's like, mm-hmm. that was your relationship? Only fucking. Only fucking. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, no, it's about being with somebody and intimate, being intimate and sharing your dreams and your frustrations and your fear, your trauma and your fears and all this stuff. Right. And you're you, you develop a friendship and a relationship. I like, you know, I'm friends with Sarah Hyland still because we had we only did it for a couple of years. But I love that girl. And we she when bad things happen to me, Sarah's one of the first people to call me and go, are you okay? You people know? just want stuff black and white. Yeah. yeah. People want things to be cut and dry this way or that way. And that's never been the case. But, it, that, you know, also it's your fucking life. It's my life. It's your fucking life. Yeah. And it's been a good one. It's a great one. <laughs> it's not over yet. Well, we, want, we do want to announce something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have cancer. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what if that was it? Well, you're going to live. Yeah, yeah, we found yeah, out that it's just toe cancer. Yeah, it's, it's toe cancer. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.